How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? I hope you're joking. <laughs> That's either an interesting metaphor or you hit your head. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> You're very polite. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So, if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years, but that guy owes me. <sighs> you better bring me back some medicine. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start?